Hello and welcome to Unreal Made Easy and in today's video we're going to be covering booleans so the booleans that we're going to cover are one is going to be the regular boolean and uh, you know you know after that we're going to cover the and boolean and then finally once we're all said and done at the end of the video we're going to cover the or boolean and each of these will be demonstrated using our material mesh on our character so Let's not waste any time and let's begin. Okay, to start out with, you're going to want to open up a project in 5.4 with the starter content enabled. Now, let's go to the content drawer. Once we're in the content drawer, we're going to go to, I'm sorry, we're going to go to the third person. Go to the blueprints and we're going to open up the third person blueprint. Now here on the side here, scroll in. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to hold the B button down, do a left click, and that's gonna give us a branch. Next, we're gonna right click, we're gonna enter a key, one, and we're gonna use the one key to activate our blueprint. Connect this up. Move this over a little bit. Right here, we're gonna drag off of here. We're gonna do a print. We're going to select the print string. We're going to open it up. We're going to set the text color to yellow. That's pretty good. Yellow is good. OK. And then inside the print string here, we're going to change the text. We're going to type in I am true light is on. We're going to compile and save. With the still highlighted, with the print string highlighted, we're going to do a control D. And right here, we're going to alter this to where the text here, instead of it being yellow, we're going to make it, uh, let's make it maybe like a, a gray. Okay. And then instead of the, it being true, we're going to change this word here to false. And instead of it being on, we're going to do off. Compile and save changes. Now, we're going to drag off of here and connect that up. And we can minimize this. And then what we're going to do is, now we need to add our Boolean. So here's one way you can do it. So you can pull off the branch here. And we're going to promote this variable, which will create the Boolean automatically. And then we're going to pretty much frame it as a question. So we're going to say, is light on? Question mark. Compile and save. And right here, this Boolean right now is automatically set to true. So you can leave it at true or you can put it in false. But for this example, we're going to leave it to true. So we're going to have, once we press the key, this is going to tell us to put the light on and it's going to send us to the true path in a print screen on the left-hand side of the screen. So we're going to compile and save. And grab our third person here and move the tab over. Go to third person map, hit play. Now, looking up the left-hand corner, you hit the one key. It says, I am true, light is on. And we can spam that so we know that it's going that way. Now, hit escape, go to third person. And what we want to do here now is I'm going to show you the not Boolean, which is the opposite side. So drag off of here, not Boolean. And then we can hold, we can, uh, hold down the alt and then left click to disconnect that. And then we're going to just go ahead and connect the not Boolean. Compile and save. Now. This is set to true, but this is going to change it into false, which should send us down the path of I am false. So let's try that. Let's test that out. Play. And hit the one and it says I am false. Light is off. Excellent. Moving on. So now I'm going to show a couple more different types of Booleans here. And for this example, I'm going to just change the character's uh, material. So to do that, we're going to have to create a little bit of code. So to start out with this code, 
what we're going to need first is we're going to need we're going to need a branch again. So we're going to hold down B, left click, and that's the branch. And then what we're going to need is more space. <laughs> Let's go right here. Go a little bit lower. Okay. We're going to take the mesh because that's the thing we're going to change. So we're going to take the mesh from the character. Okay, we're, we can do a compile save real quick. And we're going to drag off of here. And we're going to do a set material. Okay. You can lower that down here. It's fine. We're going to highlight this. We're doing control D. And then that way we'll have the material again. Now, we're going to need one thing in between these two materials because we're going to switch between them, but we're going to have them revert back. So we're going to drag off of here. And we're going to do a delay node. And we're going to set this delay node to seven seconds. We're going to connect this up. Okay. And yeah, we want to definitely hit the true right here. Okay. Set that there. Clean it up a little bit. Now we're going to need more space. So we're going to drag it over here. And then from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to, because we're going to do this. So one is going to be for a regular. We're going to do a control D to duplicate this code again. This is probably going to be for, yeah, this should be for the and to demonstrate the and. And then we're going to control D again, duplicate it again. And this will be for the or, the or Boolean here. Okay. So I guess while we're here, we can go ahead and we can add them. So we're going to do an and here. Um, and boolean. And we're just going to connect that up. And then we're also going to do an or boolean. Right here. And as we put these together, I'm going to demonstrate what each one does and why it works the way it does. So, okay. We're going to make sure we do a compile and save. Okay. So once we do our code, we're going to, we're going to have to set this material here. Okay. So let's take a look. We're going to highlight the mesh and what the material we're going to change is going to be index zero one. So if we look down here, here's zero, here's zero one. So we're going to use this one. So we're going to go to this right here, right? And then we're going to see it's highlighted and we're going to add the material right here. We're going to do that for all three. Cause after, Oh, <laughs> here we go. And one more time, do a compile and save. All right. So, okay. Now for our first, material what we're going to do is well first we're going to go down here to the content drawer select our content we're going to do a filter which is right here and we're going to set material okay and then for the material i'm just going to type in wood and i'm going to use this oak wood texture i'm going to highlight that and then for this one we're going to set this to the wooden texture now, we've got two more materials we're going to set for our other two demonstrations. We're going to delete this out. We're going to do metal for the next one. Now, I'm going to use, I'm going to highlight the chrome. Yeah, I think I like the chrome. We're going to go with the chrome, and we're going to use this for our next one. There we go. And then for the final one, for our ore, we're going to use gold. So we're going to highlight the gold. And then we're going to click this little button here, and that's going to put the gold in. We're going to compile and save. And it's good to select the save all, just to save everything. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got this far, we're going to add two Booleans. We're going to add wood form. Let's try to spell it right, wood form. Question mark. Enter. And then we're going to add another one. We're going to call this metal form. 
question mark. Okay. So for the wood form, we're going to we're going to start with uh, boolean 1. So we're going to take the wood form, we're going to do a control and we're going to drag and then now we got to get, okay? There we go. Now, we can do an alt and do the wood form again. Drag it here and do a set. Okay. Now we we're gonna want our everything to reset afterwards. So first let's let's do a compile save. And then we're gonna look at our wood form. Okay, so by default it's setting us at false, which is okay. But we're gonna want to set it to true to change our form. So we're gonna check this box here for that. We're gonna do we're gonna highlight this. We're gonna do control D again. We're gonna put this at the end. And then what we want to do is we want to set it back to false to just clear everything, okay? Then right here, let's see, we're going to, so we've got our set here. Now we're going to give it a key. We're going to compile and save. We're going to give it a key to use, and the key we're going to use is E. So we're going to use the E key for the wood form. There we go. And that's the E key. Okay. We're going to compile and save. Okay. Got an error here. Oh, almost forgot. So very important. When you're doing this, you got to target the mesh. So we're going to set the mesh right here. There we go. Compile, save. We can clean that up a bit. And while we're here, let's go ahead and make sure we got the rest of our code correct. We're gonna do the same thing for the rest of them. Set the targets, do a double click, drag it off, move this down. There we go. Same thing here. Okay. Compile and save. All right, now that we've got all that done, we're gonna go ahead and test out our wood form. So it should change the color of the mesh. We're gonna hit play. And then while we're here, we're gonna sit there, press the E key, and you can see that it's changed our color for our number one mesh into the form. And then after seven seconds, it goes back to the regular form. And we can do that several times. Okay. Escaping out of that, back to the third person. Now, we're going to do the same thing, okay? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to make it require two different forms. So, the first thing we got to do is, we're going to have to add our metal form. So, we can drag and drop it. And instead of doing the controller alt, we can just go ahead and we can do a, let's see, we can get a, a get, get the metal form right here, right? Okay. We can control C and copy this wood form. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then we can do a control V. Now the reason I'm doing it different ways is to show you there's different ways you can interact with the UI. So we so for this one, we're gonna need the metal form and the wood form to activate in order to have the metal form. So we're gonna grab the metal form again. Because we got to set the metal form, so we're gonna we're gonna do a alt and drag, and that'll put the set. And we're gonna check the set, and we're gonna hook that up to the branch. And for this one, we're gonna use what well, we can compile and save. We're gonna use the F key for the metal form. So here we go. We got the shortcut F key. Set that up. Now, when you hit the F key, that's when it'll set this form. It'll set the form to metal. It'll turn on this one. See, right now it's false. This is false. So when both of these are false, we need both of these to be true to activate the AND. Okay? 
Now we're going to need this at the end as well. So we're going to do a, you know, a control D to duplicate that. And we're just going to move this over to the end. And we're going to want to go ahead and clear that. We're going to go ahead and clear. So we're going to set it back to false after everything's done. Okay. We're going to do a compile and a save. And then we're going to just go ahead and hit the play button. And then if you look right here, we hit the E. That's the wood. Okay. We'll wait seven seconds. Seven seconds. And then we're going to hit the F. Notice that nothing's happening. But if you hit E for the wood form and hit F, now you've got the metal. So that's what the end does. It requires two different things in order for it to activate. Okay. Moving on. Okay. So for this final one, we're going to set this to where you have to have either the wood or the metal form, meaning either one, and it'll produce the gold. So the way we're going to do that is we're just going to grab the wood form, drag it, drop it right here. We're going to grab the metal form, drag it, drop it right here. And then what we can do is we're going to, well, compile and save. We're going to right click. And then we're going to use G for the gold form, huh, which is kind of, we're going to G key, which is kind of suitable. G key right there. Drag off of here. Do a compile and save. And then at the end, we're, we're going to want to use both of these. So, okay, so we're going to reset both of them, both the variables. So we're going to select those two. We're going to do a control D. Okay. We're going to drag these down here. And we're going to hook them up in the end. Okay. Do a compile. Now, to test this out, see if we can get our gold form, we're going to go into the third person, hit play. And first things first, so we got the E key, that's the gold, I mean, that's the wood. And if we hit the G key, now we can turn gold, okay? After seven seconds, it's going to stop. Now, if we hit the, here's the thing, if we hit the F key, you can't see it, but we have activated the Boolean, and we hit the G, it still turns gold. Because remember, we only need one or the other in order for the or boolean to work. So, but if you want to see them visual, if you want to see the visual of the the metal, you're gonna to have to hit E and then the F, and that's the and. And then if you hit E by itself, that's just the wood. Well, that concludes today's video. I hope it was very useful, and please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.